Welcome for this weekly recap of the blockchain news. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Edoblox I teach blockchain development. First of all, some news from the latest ETB hackathon and congrats to the team of crypto developers who won the hackathon and we will announce soon the detail of the NFT sales. This week, the growth of the crypto market stabilized a little bit and on the crypto Twitters, there were two analyses that became popular. So first, there was this comparison between the adoption of internet versus crypto. So currently, crypto is like internet in 1998, so still very early. And second, there was this very interesting analysis about the fiat supply into Ethereum and this model predicts that by the end of 2022, the price of Ether should be around $65,000. Bankless has updated its article for the Ethereum roadmap. In 5 to 8 months, the issuance of new Ether is going to go below 0% and Ether is going to become deflationary. And second, in two years, we'll have a scalability upgrade with the addition of Data Shard. According to Josh Stark, an Ethereum Foundation researcher, the Ethereum network is going to consume 99.95% less energy after the switch to proof of stake. Layer 2 Ethereum sidechain have reached a new all-time high with $5 billion locked in rollups. Etherscan added more support for ERC-1155 multi-token standard. The Shapeshift DAO launched a token-backed stablecoin pegged to USD by using the ICHI protocol. The market cap of the ENS token hit 1 billion just a few days after the airdrop. The total value locked in DeFi has reached 113 billion dollars. The ACROSS protocol is now alive on mainnet. ACROSS is the fastest and cheapest L2 to L1 bridge and it has been audited by Open Zeppelin. The Optimism network just had a new upgrade and now you can deploy the same smart contract on Ethereum and on Optimism. No need to make any change. Phantom, one of the most popular wallets for Solana, announced they are preparing to launch a mobile version. They have reached 1.2 million users. Even though Aave only launched in 2020, it already outgrew its established competitor compound and multiplied its market cap by 8 times within half a year. Aave has been more aggressive in innovation and business expansion. The DFYN exchange, one of the earliest decentralized exchange built on Polygon, has announced a new tokenomics upgrade to its token. With this upgrade, there will be a token burn of $50 million. Agaric has raised $32 million after three years of development. Agaric is a JavaScript-based smart contract platform built on the Cosmos SDK with Tendermint proof-of-stake mechanism. It now plans to launch an automated market maker and a native stablecoin. The crypto gaming platform Forte has just raised $725 million. Forte is building a platform that allows game creators to put blockchain elements into the game. That include NFTs that players can collect. DeFi deep liquidity provider Wood Network announced that they have raised $30 million. The CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, said that NFT could be as big or bigger than all crypto on Coinbase. The majority of game developers said that they are interested in using NFTs in their game. Sotheby, one of the world's biggest art broker and auction organizer, announced that it will now accept bids in Ether. Mastercard launched a crypto credit card that allows you to spend your crypto when you make a purchase. A recent study showed that the vast majority of US adults have heard at least a little about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ether and 16% have already invested in crypto. In particular, men between 18 to 21 years old are the biggest users of crypto. Apple CEO says that he owns crypto, but the company doesn't have any plan to invest in the asset class. Just three days after hinting at the crypto integration, the CEO of Discord has rolled back his initial comment following an outrage from the Discord community. The mayor of Miami announced that a yield will be paid from the staking of the city Miami coin. There is a new version of Solidity release. The updates are mostly relevant for people who do developer tooling. Wallet Connect, a protocol to connect any wallet to any dApp, has released its 2.0 version, which adds support for multi-chain. And finally, Open Zeppelin just released a registry for smart contract security. This is a repository of JSON files that describe a project and they deploy smart contracts, including emergency contact information. It allows anyone to contact the developers of a project privately if a security vulnerability has been found. That's it for today. Have a good week.